As we saw earlier, the crew is inside Crew Dragon, suited up in their seats, strapped in, and they will be a arriving at Waypoint Zero in it looks like about seven minutes. Just such a cool view of Dragon from the station looking down uh, as it's passing over Earth. They are moving pretty quickly. Uh, now that you could see Dragon uh, in view, you can see how fast it is moving against uh, the background of Earth there. And Dragon is approaching station now at half a meter per second. It's a bit slower than we were seeing earlier, but that's because we are so much closer to station now. We have to make every single maneuver very fine-tuned, very deliberate. You'll start to see things get brighter, as we mentioned, as Space Station and Crew Dragon enter an orbital daytime. You'll be able to see a little bit of the ocean below, and then eventually, uh, in just a few minutes, both the vehicles will be flying over Madagascar. Only about five, four minutes away now from uh, the arrival at Waypoint Zero, 400 meters away from the International Space Station. And we're just under 500 meters away, so once we get to Waypoint Zero, we will be 400 meters away. Basically, we'll just be passing through Waypoint Zero, through that 400-meter uh, point, and going, uh, continuing on. The next hold point would be Waypoint One. That is 220 meters away. They'll need to go to move inside the Keep Out Sphere, a 200-meter radius, an invisible line around the International Space Station. This is the same for every vehicle that arrives and departs the station. We make sure that it is a go to move inside. And this means if Dragon were to lose control of its thrusters for some reason, it would be four orbit safe or six hours before it crossed into that 200 meter radius, the keep out sphere. So if everything looks good, Crew Dragon can move through waypoint one and up to waypoint two, which will put us only 20 meters away from the International Space Station. Another view from Crew Dragon looking at its future destination, its future home for the next six months, the International Space Station, even becoming more and more clearly defined as they approach it, as we said earlier, at about half a meter per second. Station on six again, two. I'm in one dot one oh four crew dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Houston copies, and we were ready for that as well. Both about 262 statute miles over the planet. just a few moments ago too that the crew had reached 10 meters away from the International Space Station so already halfway there from waypoint two but only about a little over a minute from docking you can see on those display panels the crew watching as they approach that node Port 2. 
And what you could see directly in the center of the docking adapter, that is the A-pass hatch. Um, once we do do a hard capture um, and do leak checks, that will be the first hatch that will open, followed by the dragon hatch. And if you look closely in the center at the very bottom, chop. there was CHOP, crew hands off point, standing by for contact. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture confirmed. Dragon copies, and we see the same. As you heard that call out, soft capture is now complete. Next will be hard capture. This is where the pins will insert themselves into that docking adapter and create a hard lock. And we had that soft capture at 8.01 p.m. Pacific time, 11.01 p.m. Eastern time. Crew Dragon and the International Space Station flying 262 statute miles over Idaho. Dragon SpaceX, soft capture ring retraction in progress. And again, hard capture is underway. Once hard capture is complete, they will perform some leak checks prior to opening up the A-pass hatch. Once the A-pass hatch is open, they'll perform uh, some more checks to make sure that it is okay to open the Dragon hatch. And in the meantime, Dragon SpaceX hard capture complete. Dragon copy. And there we heard the confirmation that hard capture is complete. Dragon is officially attached to the International Space Station <laughs> after arriving at 8.01 p.m. Pacific time, 11.01 p.m. Eastern time. 27 and a half journey to station since launch yesterday at 7.27 p.m. Eastern time. How exciting, the crew must be so excited now that they're going to start doing uh, the process of doing leak checks uh, before they open those the, those hatches, but they'll start uh, taking off their suits and getting ready to enter uh, the space station. Station Houston on two, you are go for tool teardown. Happy go, thanks. 